a lot of people are going to think what I'm about to say is wrong. And they're going to think I'm real wrong what I'm about to say. Now, God. How could there be a God if there's so much suffering? Ask yourself that question. Is suffering the greatest test that God has given us? If we pass the suffering, then we're set free? Please. Use basic logic when you think of God. Listen to all the things that you've learned about God and Jesus. And you look at every story that's similar. I'm not going to say there's no God. No, I can't do that. I'm not going to say that there's no truth to God. I can't do that. Can I say God does not exist? I can't do that. Can I prove God exists? I can't do that. Can I prove that there ever was a God? I can't do that. If you look at basic science, the evolution of man, and then you look at the Bible, the creation of man, where's the truth? It is never in any country's best interest for the people to know all the truth. It is never in the powers that be's best interest for all the people to know the truth. What if the truth is that there is not? What if the truth is that there is no one coming to save us? Or nothing coming to save us? What if the truth is that there is no God? That was the truth. How would you feel if an alien spaceship came down and says, you know, you guys got 24 hours to leave the planet Earth. We got enough ships here to get rid of everybody, get you off the planet safely. How many people would say, no, we're going to wait for God? Then how many people would believe that those aliens are God? Come to save us. What is an alien? What are these little gray creatures or the, the lizard-like creatures that people have seen? Are they part of God? Did God create them too? How could you truly believe that if there was a God, that he would only create life in this one planet? Man is man's God. We are. Gods. How can I say this? We've been taught that we've been made in God's image. Is all of us made in His image or just a chosen few? Who is God? Me. I'm God. I am God. I'm Jesus. I am light. I am dark. I'm good. And I'm evil. And I am just like everyone on the other side of this camera. I am exactly like you. I am you. I am God. Now, is there any scientific evidence, evidence, evidence to prove I'm not God? Yeah, do I gotta do some special miracle to prove that I am God? I tell you what. I'm going to prove right now that I am God. Can you hear me? Listen real hard. Can you hear me? Listen real hard. Because now I'm talking directly into your brain. And I can guarantee you this is my proof that I am God. Are you still hearing me? Am I still talking to you? 
Didn't I just make you think, what the hell is he talking about? Didn't you just have a thought going through your mind? What is he saying? What is he doing? God has the power to make you think. Didn't I just make you think? What is he saying? What is he doing? But, do you believe I'm God now? You probably don't believe I'm God. So I'm going to give you one more proof, one more bit of evidence that proves that I'm God. Think real hard now. I want you to look, definitely look right into the video that I'm doing. Look right into my eyes right now. Think. You feel that? Do you feel that power that's coming from inside you? Your eyes are focused now. You're looking at me right in my eyes to wait for that magical thing to pop in your head to prove that what I'm saying that I'm who I say I am. You feel that? I am you. And you are God. Is there any evidence? out there to prove that you're not God? Is there anything out there to prove that you're not God? Is there anyone out there that can point out and tell you who or who isn't God? Now, in that book, that novel, that masterpiece of work called the Bible, doesn't it say that we are created in God's image? Do we look just look like God? Or were we created in his entire being? As a human being, we now have the power to clone a human being. We can grow a human being in a petri dish. We can grow lungs and hearts and livers and everything. Now, listen to this. If I am not God, can you tell me why I'm not God? Or am I just here suffering with you, waiting for some mythical entity to come up and, and free us all from this hell on earth? I'm God. Because there's no one on the planet that can prove I'm not. I might not be able to walk on water, but I can fly through the air. I can fly. You don't believe me? Then you don't have to believe me. Can I turn uh, water into wine? With grapes? Yes, I can. Can I create life? Yes, I can. Because I'm a man. And man was made in the image of God. If there, is a true, if there truly is a God, then we are God. And until there is peace amongst all of us, we will never see our true face. Therefore, the God that we are, the gods that we must be, will never be seen. Am I wrong? Where is the proof? that I'm not. Where's the proof that you're not? This video not only makes you think, it's there for you to use your brain. Pray to yourself. Beg yourself for forgiveness. Free your soul from you. And then, and maybe then, you will see God. But until then, I want you all to look in the mirror. And when you look in that mirror, say to yourself, I'm the greatest thing that ever happened to this planet Earth and I will survive. And that power that I just gave you only comes from one place. It only comes from one entity. That power I just gave you comes from God. God may be that little glimmer of light that lives inside each and every one of us, yearning to say one thing. You've been tubed.